One of the funny things that I've observed every male and practically the entire animal kingdom do is size each other up. We all want to know where we stand in the pecking order whenever we're amongst a bunch of other dudes. And for me personally, what I typically key in on body part wise that lets me know if someone is dangerous or not are a couple items. Number one, if you're a dude with a mangled up smashed crooked nose or cauliflower ears, good rule of thumb, I'm not going to want to mess with you because suffice to say you've gotten those because of your training and wrestling, jiu-jitsu, uh, or you're fighting your ass off in a bunch of scraps. I don't want any part of that. I know what I am and I know what I'm not. I'm going to stay in my lane. But there's also different body parts that communicate to me you might not want to trifle with this individual. And one of the top body parts that to me communicates maybe I shouldn't mess with this guy is a pair of big ass traps. If you are the type of guy with a thick, powerful, dense upper back, I know that you're doing the type of training that typically yields those type of results. And here's the thing I've noticed about practically 99% of guys that are training their traps with the focus of trying to achieve growth in them. They are short changing themselves. Of course they're doing countless shrugs, which involves basic uh, elevation of your scapula, which are phenomenal. I'm not knocking those. There is definitely uh, a lot of growth to be had when you're doing a lot of shrugs. But what I also want you to think about in order to develop the entire trapezius muscle, because remember, the traps aren't just a muscle that's right here going from neck to, to shoulders when you see guys with big traps. The trap goes, the trapezius goes all the way down to almost like the, the middle thoracic part of your spine. And that, the, those lower parts of the trapezius they're not going to be really stressed by you just simply doing elevation work with your scapula via shrugs. I don't care whether you're doing you know, dumbbell, kettlebell, barbell, whatever. Elevation of the scapula with the shrugs is going to be great for building just what you see right here. But if you're looking for a more well-rounded approach to your trapezius training, you need to combine that work with some retraction based scapular work. So keep doing the elevation work that gives you that, that kind of big mound on top, of your, uh, on top of your shoulders, but also work in some retraction based work. You'll see me do it at the end with the band uh, scarecrows as well as mainly with, uh, with the, the, the ballistic hip hinge work in the the cleans, as well as double kettlebell swings. And on top of that, if you really wanna dumb down your training to build bigger traps, I can tell you this right now, through experience, back when I was in competitive strongman, doing heavy farmer's walks at the end of every workout, and even more so, uh, just doing farmer's walks, farmer's walking your, your, your kettlebells or dumbbells back to the rack, when you're done with every set, instead of using straps, is a fantastic way to not only build massive forms, but also build a monster upper back. So, couple quick notes before we get to today's trap-focused workout. Focus not just on elevation of your scapula, but also retraction-based movements. And I can assure you, when you do that, along with high volume work within your trapezius workout, you're going to build some massive, massive traps that communicate to me, maybe I shouldn't mess with you. Yeah? All right, let's roll the footage on today's kick-ass trapezius developing workout. Enjoy.
you so much for checking out today's killer high intensity kettlebell routine. If you enjoyed it and want me to keep sharing workouts and simple tips like this that help you develop not only a more lean and muscular physique, but on top of that, one that can perform well in competition and between the sheets, then do you and me both a solid by first hitting the thumbs up button so I know I'm on the right track for hooking you up with the tools you need to achieve your specific training goals as quickly as possible. Second, subscribe and hit the alert icon so you're notified the instant that I drop new workout videos here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And third, don't forget to grab your free copy of the Kettlebell Cardio Blueprint that I put together for you by clicking on the image that you see right over to the right, the first link you see down in the description box, or on the pin link you see at the very top of the comment section down below. Inside this powerful free gift, I'll share with you my exact daily training split, an entire week's worth of video follow along kettlebell fat loss routines, my top nine rules for kettlebell bodybuilding, and a plug and chug workout builder that shows you exactly how to build a daily workout that'll help you get jacked, ripped, and more powerful with the help of a single kettlebell. So to download it for free, just click over there or down there, and it is yours for free as a gift from me. Appreciate your time, guys. Have a good one. Mandler.